Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review. Today we're going to take a look at Patty, the crazy A demolition derby racer number 74 from Cars 3. Now before we get right into the retrospective and review, let's get right into the unboxing. So here we've got Patty and Taco inside the package and the Mattel logo in the red background and the old Cars logo, her artwork along with Taco's and their names saying Patty, Taco and the metal logo, the old Cars logo. And on the back we've got the red background, the Cars 3 logo, the metal logo and, the, and on the back we have Patty and Taco themselves, Matty McGear and Melissa Burnabreak, Chase Raceline and Cam Spinner, the Mattel logo, empowering the next generation through play, Disney slash Pixar, www.disney.com slash cars, and the RSN logo saying RSN Racing Sports Network. So now, without any further ado, let's get right into the unboxing. Now I'll be back after this had been unboxed. So here we've got Paddy and Taco all opened up and out of the package. So I'm going to put Taco aside for another day and focus in more on Paddy. So anyhow, Paddy is a crazy eight racer who bears the number 74 of an unknown sponsor for the in the Crazy A Demolition Derby competition at Thunder Hollow. And she bears the number 74, which the number is shared with Slider Petrolski from the Piston Cup in Cars 1, and was voiced by Denise Aragon. So, during her appearance in Cars 3 in 2017, she was seen along with the other Crazy 8 racers when, before the Crazy 8 began while Lightning McQueen and Cruz Amiris were disguised themselves as Crazy 8 racers with the names of Chester Wibblefilter and Francis Beltline. And during the race, she was shoved by she along with Bill and Sigler, who I unfortunately don't have, were shoved by Miss Fritter, who I also unfortunately don't have. And Bill said, Hey, Patty. And then Patty replied, Oh, hey, Bill. <laughs> I think that was fun. I really thought, and to be honest, I really thought it was funny when Bill said, Hey, Patty. And then Patty replied, Oh, hey, Bill. Wasn't it to you? Tell me what you think in the comments down below. So, anyhow. She was then hit by APB and was then seen with liability. And she, and during the Florida 500 of the 2017 Piston Cup season, she, along with the other Crazy Eight racers, were watching the race on TV, watching Lightning McQueen, Lightning and Cruz. And during her diecast releases, she has been released is sing in singles, two packs, and multi packs, I imagine. So, anyhow, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So, here we've got her gray paintwork and her, her two buck teeth and her happy facial expression, her headlights and her exhaust pipe coming out from the right side of her engine and on both sides we've got the we've got her front gray rims on her black wall tires white number 74 on a black circle and on the back and on the top we've got a bit of black background and a white number 74 and the black rims on her 
another on her back wheels in with black walls and on the back we've got the tail lights and the damaged bumper back bumper and a and a slogan saying and a sentence saying rust in peace which I'll bet it's a pun of rest in peace get it and on the undercarriage it says Disney slash Pixar made in Thailand Mattel and that is it now let's pull up some of the other crazy eight racers we've got Lightning McQueen as Chester Wibblefilter Cruz Ramirez as Francis Beltline APB Liability Bill Fishtail Dr. Damage and Taco and that is it. So what do you guys think? Which Crazy 8 Racer is your favorite? And which car for tomorrow do you wish for me to review? Should it be Taco? Royce Revsley? Or the DeLorean Time Machine from Back to the Future? Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions of which car to review next in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel, as well as voting on the voting poll. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!